Hello everybody, my name is Daniel Richardson and I'm the WCPW Review Guy and don't get me wrong, it's been an awesome week. The World Cup week has finally come to a conclusion, we're done. And I'm just exhausted. Like I know, there's a fat fuck making reviews in front of a camera, but guess what? It's exhausting, <laughs> literally. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm glad it's over right now. I feel like I just gave birth to an accountant. Like literally, just, just wore out right now. Uh, so yeah, here we are. I'm finally, my last video of the week. I did a ton of videos. Like, this is like probably my busiest week I've ever had. I think I did like a total of like 14, 15 videos. Like not just counting WCW stuff, but also my uh, main event and other you know endeavors. Uh, in total, I did like 14, 15 videos this week, which is pretty crazy for me. So uh, yeah, not gonna lie, I'm, I'm I'm really looking forward to having a bit of a breather next week. Going back to just, I don't know if they're having loaded next week or not, but whatever they have loaded, I'm happy with just doing loaded and that's it. So uh, anyways, let's get to it. This is the WCPW unofficial top 10, where I do the top five tag teams top women's wrestler, and of course the top 10 singles wrestlers. So let's get into it, shall we? The World Cup did change up quite a bit, and I, I'm really happy with the results here, so let's get into it. Now that I said change up a lot, tag division didn't change up at all because there isn't really a tag division except for War Machine. Like, War Machine is a tag division. That's it. War Machine is a tag division. Uh, so let's get into that. Number five for a month straight now, Polo Promotions. Uh, number four and number three, kind of sharing it, is the entire stable of the Curb Crawlers. Uh, for a third week in a row, they've held that spot. Uh, at number two for a third week in a row, the Hunter Bros. And number one for a third week in a row, I am talking about the current WCPW Tag Team Champions, War Machine. Uh, they currently, or they, uh, this past week, they defended the titles against Mark Briscoe and Jay Lethal in a War Game, or sorry, War Machine Rules match, and then uh, won a huge six-man tag match with Marty Scurll against uh, the Prestige. So, yeah, dominant as ever. And, of course, they're looking forward now to the refuse to lose against the Young Bucks, so... War Machine, highly dominant right now. So, congratulations, guys. Uh, and, of course, the top women's wrestler. Still, this is going on six weeks. Uh, she's the current WCPW Women's Champion, Kaylee Ray. Kaylee Ray. So, congratulations, Kaylee. And now we move on to the top ten. Now, i got to say, you know, when I, when I put it together, I was shocked that one guy did not make this list at all. And I know why. I know exactly why. Because his 90 days ran out before he came back. And when he came back, he was just competing in tag matches, which doesn't count in the singles action. So it wasn't until recently he kind of made his return to the singles action. So he's at the very bottom of this list. So he he worked up kind of high, but he kind of still petered out in the middle there. Talk about Will Ospreay. He didn't even make my top ten, even though he went straight to the finals after having a pretty yeah, it was a decent week. He went back and forth. Uh, you know, I think he, he he did lose against Marty Scurll early on this week, but uh, for the most part, he went to the finals and lost. But uh, yeah, fair he'd at least make the top ten. No, didn't make the top ten. Sorry, Will. Sorry, buddy. Better luck next time. But uh, yeah, let's get into this top ten, shall we? We're gonna kick things off at number ten. He has dropped six spots. He was four last week. He's dropped down to ten. I'm talking about Mike Bailey, uh, and he did have kind of a. I mean, it was an even week. Uh, I think he broke even there, but uh, he, he lost to uh, oh, uh, Takahashi early on, stacked. Uh, then, he, of course, he would go on to beat Travis Banks to advance in the uh, World Cup. But he in the quarterfinals, he lost to, uh, there's so many matches this past week. Uh, the quarterfinals, he lost to Will Ospreay in the match of the tournament, in my opinion. Uh, definitely match of the night. Uh, but he uh, lost there, and then, of course, he had an exhibition last night up against uh, Penta, L0M, and he lost that as well. So three losses in one week, that will drop you. He was four, he's down down to ten, so speedball. Yeah, I mean, you're still in top ten. I mean, that's still, when you drop on the top ten, it's not that bad because you're still in the top ten of the company. It's just, you know, he was four, and now he's ten. Number nine. And I think he's making his complete debut. I don't think he's ever been on this list. Ever. Uh, Marty Skrull, number nine. Uh, of course, he uh, came in, got a win over uh, Will Ospreay uh, as he headlined Stacked. He got beat down afterwards by the special guest commentator, Hendry, and the other prestige member. But still, victory nonetheless. And then, of course, he picked up a big win in the, a six-way, or sorry, I said the same thing on the last video. Uh, Six-man tag match. Uh, him and uh, War Machine took on the Prestige, and he won. He got beat down. As I was saying, he won both matches. He got beat down after both matches. So, hey, you win some, you lose some, buddy. But yeah, he's on the he's on the list. Number nine, and so congrats. Uh, at number eight, he's dropped like three spots. Uh, another one that was really kind of sad to see drop. But uh, talking about Primate, Primate, 
uh, who's been doing so good in the top ten lately. But yeah, he uh, suffered a loss to BT Gun, lost his hardcore title in that hardcore match. So uh, yeah, he's dropped three spots there. Uh, at number seven, this guy also dropped a spot. He uh, he won his match. He had uh, a match at a uh, stacked and won it, but he won a singles match. Then going to help him out in the grand scheme of things, and eventually it dropped him a spot. Martin Kirby picked up a win over Alex Gracie at Stacked, and uh, yeah, it was a DQ victory, but you know, victory nonetheless. But uh, yeah, still wasn't enough to keep him in the number six spot. Number six goes to, also back on the list after he's been gone for a little bit, Zack Sabre Jr. And uh, he, he's not only kind of had a back and forth week because, uh, you know, starting off, he defeated Jay Lethal in a hell of a match in the round of 16. Uh, however, he will lose, uh, still breaks my heart, to uh, the eventual winner, Kushida, uh, in the uh, quarterfinals. And then, of course, uh, last night at the uh, finals, he took on uh, Alex Gracie. Again, Gracie losing to two people in this list. Uh, beat Alex Gracie for uh, the right to uh, compete against uh, Gabriel Kidd for the internet title later on down the road. So, congratulations, Zach, number six. At number five, uh, back on the list. He was on the list briefly for a minute, and then he was off, but he's back, and he came back in a big way. He's number five, uh, Hiromu Takahashi. And, uh, yeah, he, uh, of course, you know, as I mentioned earlier, beat Bailey at uh, Stacked, and then would go on to uh, defeat Lucky Kid in the round of 16 before eventually uh, losing to Joseph Connors in the quarterfinals. So, uh, once again, kind of a back and forth week there, but you know, did good for himself. And he's up number five. So, number four, he's down a spot. Uh, of course, he's suffering a loss will do that to you. Talk about Joe Coffee losing to Joseph Connors under round of 16. Coffee's just been on the worst losing streak. Like, seriously, go back and look. Like, look at the papers. Go back and see the past. Like, he has not won a match in a while. Like, it's, it's getting sad at this point. Like, he's getting a Gabriel Kidd losing streak. Start getting those t-shirts made up. Uh, at number three, also dropping a spot from last week, Rampage. And uh, he had two matches this week. Uh, he won one and lost one. He beat uh, Penta L0M at uh, Stacked, but then would turn around and lose his shot to briefcase against the Heligero, which that should never have happened. But that was enough to drop him a spot. So uh, I think actually that had less to do with it than who number two is. At number two, making his debut on the list, and he shot right up the goddamn ladder. Like, literally just ran up that thing. Ran up that thing like Shelton Benjamin in a Money in the Bank match. Like, just flew up the top. Uh, at number two, Kushida. Kushida, uh, he had a, a, a huge week this week. Uh, defeated Travis Banks in a non-tournament match at Stacked, and then would go on to, oh, let's see if I can remember all these. At, uh, he beat Kenny Williams at the... Uh, Round of 16, then turn around and beat uh, Zack Sabre Jr. at the quarterfinals, trying to block that one from my mind, I guess, and I forgot about it. Uh, and then Joseph Connors and uh, eventually beat Will Ospreay at the finals to win the entire thing. So Kushida, number two, but still couldn't dethrone number one. Number one going on, god damn, five months. That's just ridiculous. But hey, he's, he's earned it here. Uh, this past week, he was in a six-man tag match. He lost that six-man tag match uh, against uh, Marty Skrull and uh, War Machine, but then he beat former WWE World Champion Jack Swagger. I am, of course, talking about Joe Hendry, current WCBW champion right now. Not only did he beat Jack Swagger, I made him tap out to one of the greatest moves of all time. Uh, the double Hendry lock. Anyways, uh, but yeah. Five months running, he still topped the mountain. Which, you know, hey, I'm okay with that. I mean, he didn't win the World Cup, but guess what? He's still the champion, and that still means something here at the top ten. So, uh, number one. Number one right now. So, there you have it. So, a big shout-out to uh, the winners. Well, we got War Machine, Kaylee Ray, and Joe Hendry. You guys are all the tops of your uh, respective divisions. Unofficially and officially, because you all own the titles to those divisions, too. So, there you have it. So, guys, let me know what you guys thought about my top ten in the comment section down below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? If you disagree, why? If you disagree, make your own list. I'll watch it, and then I'll disagree with you. <laughs> so uh, that's all I got. Uh, so guys, share and subscribe if you haven't already. Show this video that thumb and love, and uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, it's all down there. Ah, oh, we did it. We got through it. We got through the World Cup week, and yes, uh, just, I'm just happy. I'm so happy right now. Tears about to come out. Uh, guys, thank you. Seriously, I don't care how cheesy or how thick I'm laying that on. I truly mean it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for watching. Uh, Till next time. And I don't know when I'll be. I don't know when. I don't know if they're going to be dropping an episode loaded this week, or if they're going to be off. Or I don't know. But uh, you better believe when they come back. 
I'm coming back. So until then.